Um, my name's Vince Walsh. I'm Professor of Human Brain Research and Royal Society Industry Research Fellow here at UCL, and I'm the BASC Health and Environment Pathway Representative. Um, I'm often asked by students, what will this course lead to in terms of master's courses? What can I do if I want to do neuroscience master's? Do I have to do all neuroscience subjects? If I want to do a psychology master's, do I have to do all psychology uh, subjects? And etc. Other questions like that. And I have two answers for those kinds of worries. Uh, the first answer is, is very general and might not seem very helpful, but it is. Uh, I would say don't think about these things. Concentrate on the subjects you love doing and you'll find the course that, that follows. And I know that can sound a little bit flaky, but it, you're doing something for three years followed by something for possibly one or two years, you have to love it, do what you want to do rather than what you feel you ought to do. Part of the reason for saying that is that disciplines move so quickly now that if you think you're identifying an MSc course now, you've no guarantee that it's going to be there in three years' time. Disciplines move so quickly and the half-life of technical advances and conceptual advances can be, can be very short. So you wouldn't try and gamble on many other things three years forward, so why would you gamble on what you think the, um, the trajectory of an intellectual discipline is going to be three years forward? Do what you want to do, what really turns you on intellectually. That would be the first answer to the question. The second answer to the question is no, you don't have to do um, the courses that are specifically directed at those MSc courses. The world has changed in the past decade or so, such that um, disciplines across the whole science, life sciences and natural sciences board have become very interdisciplinary. And that means that you're unlikely to want to do a master's course that's a mere extension of your undergraduate course. And many master's courses now are looking for people from different disciplines. So in our cognitive neuroscience masters, for example, we don't have anybody who's done a cognitive neuroscience degree. We have some people who've done psychology, we have some people who've done neuroscience, we have some people who've done medicine, we have some people who've done mathematics, we have some people who've done um, other aspects of, of biology. And the idea is to bring all these different kinds of disciplines and knowledge together in the course. You'll also find that there's such a, an explosion of MSc courses that it's going to be very easy for you to find the one that you want that fits into your skill set and the things that you're, you're looking to do. So forget the idea that there's a simple linear trajectory from a BASc course to, or any other degree course, to a specific MSc course. You'd be very surprised about the elasticity uh, in the in the MSc courses.